Kozo Kentin Troll and Sub-C7 have collaborated in the creation of a flexible subsea choke valve intervention system for the most demanding of environments in the oil and gas sectors. The following program demonstrates the system which can be adapted for the severest of shallow or deep water applications. With the vessel on location, a heave compensated lift line with a 10 ton ROV deployable hook is positioned at the worksite where it is attached to the choke dropped object debris cap by an ROV. After the debris cap is lifted clear of its location over the choke valve, the vessel crane deposits it on the seabed close to the worksite. Next, the choke insert running tool, or CIRT, is connected to the lift line and unlatched from the transportation frame by pulling back on the latch pins and rotating them into the open position, whilst the carrier yoke is in the fully retracted position. The CIRT is positioned overboard in a safe location. The ROV orientates the CIRT so that the tooling interfaces are facing in the correct direction. The CIRT is then slowly deployed by the lift line into the choke guide funnel. Once located, the primary guidance strips on the CIRT ensure the correct orientation for engagement with the choke insert. The soft landing cylinders on the CIRT ensure that the engagement of the two parts is executed in a safe and controlled manner. The ROV locks the CIRT onto the guide funnel by rotating and pushing forward the lockdown pins into the pad eye type interfaces. These are located at each side of the guide funnel. The lockdown pins, which are spring loaded in the closed position, can only be released manually. With the CIRT locked on to the choke guide funnel, the vessel lift line is then removed and recovered to the surface. The ROV inserts a torque tool into the ROV lifting choke receptacle and deploys the yoke down on to the choke insert. The ROV locks the CIRT yoke onto the choke insert by rotating and pushing forward the lockdown pins into the pad eye type interfaces located on each side. The torque tool is then inserted into the clamp connector interface which unlocks the choke insert from the choke body resident on the subsea structure. The torque tool is then reinserted into the lifting yoke ROV receptacle and the yoke and choke insert are lifted into the CIRT. The lift line ROV hook is then attached to the CIRT. To unlatch the CIRT from the choke guide funnel, the latch pins are pulled back and rotated into the open position. With the assistance of the ROV, the CIRT, complete with choke insert, is lifted clear of the guide funnel and recovered to the surface. The CIRT is deployed complete with choke insert into the TDF. The CIRT is orientated so that the tooling interfaces are in the correct direction, after which it is slowly deployed by the vessel crane into the choke receptacle guide funnel. The torque tool is inserted into the clamp connector to secure the insert to choke receptacle. 